And to me, Alejandra. Hello. Hola, good evening. Okay, hello. Hello. Hey, we were missing you yesterday, Miss. What happened? What happened? Eh, sí, este, ayer venía del trabajo ya bien noche. Igual este, fuimos a dejar a, a un familiar, entonces ya no logré venir a tiempo. Ya los datos ya solo para WhatsApp me quedaban. Ah, sí. Ah, pero sí. está bien. Sí, sí, hoy sí, ya estoy aquí en casa. Okay. Uh -huh. Hoy okay. sí, no, no, fui, no fui a trabajar. Como son horarios rotativos. Ah, entonces, sí. Uh -huh. Qué bueno. Uh -huh. Sí, por bueno, pero, pero es bueno saber que está por acá, que está bien, ¿verdad? Sí, gracias, Lee. Sí, porque con estas condiciones del clima y todo lo demás, lo que sucede. Sí, así okay. es. Uh -huh. So, welcome class. Hello, hello. Filomena, how are you? Ana Verónica, hello, welcome. You. Glad to see you. Hello, welcome, welcome. So, it is exactly the time to get started, okay? And here we go. Um, okay, class, I am so glad that all of you are here and we are going to get started because remember, always, but always we need more time, yes? And Brandon is joining right now. Brandon se nos está uniendo en este momento. And Milton Hola, also, Lisa. good evening, welcome. I am so happy that all of you are here. And I was Maybe. telling the partners that, um, we are going to get started because we always need time, right? To practice and to feedback at the end of the class, right? Siempre necesitamos como que un poquito más de tiempo en esta clase para al final. So I'm going to start by sharing my screen with you guys, okay? As every single day, the agenda and all that kind of thing, okay? So here, do you see my screen? Yes? Yes. Okay, great. So here we go. Okay, today is October 13th, yes? Or 14th? Hello? Today is, yeah, 13th. I am like, you know, because of Monday that we didn't have a class. So uh, today is the 13th and time is flying, right? Very soon you are going to be in module three. So congratulations, I keep on studying, okay? Working in the platform. Here we have our video conference number eight. Our first activity as every day that we meet here class, greetings, okay? Feedback objectives and today we're going to be working with the verbs need to and have to uh, they seem to have the same uh, function but it is not so we're going to identify the difference and here uh, you're going to be expressing necessities and obligations okay and the task will be to express necessities and obligations. We're going to be working at pages 24, 25, and 26, 26 I think. And at the end, we're going to close the class. So, mm, what happened here? Okay. I need a volunteer in order to help me reading the specific objective for today's class and the class objective, okay? One volunteer, please tell me, hello. Alejandra Michelle, thank you so much. Please be my guest. Okay, the object is, okay, a specific objective participant will be able to express necessities and obligation. Great. Okay, class objective participant will be able to use have to and need to. Very well. Through so these two verbs, have to and need to, you're going to be expressing necessities and obligations, okay? Those uh, two verbs, have to, need to, okay? And then you need another verb, another action. 
Again, a reminder class for homeworks and evaluations. Remember that it is necessary to get the 80% in your average homeworks and evaluations, okay? And in section two, unit two, you have to take a midterm test besides the everyday class uh, evaluations, okay? Or homeworks, little homeworks. So you can practice and here again, your full name, okay? Names and last names, okay? And the camera on, uh, sound, microphone off, and very active participation. And again, a reminder of your percentages of attendance to the classes, and it is a requirement to be 120 minutes every day, unless you have a difficulty with your internet connectivity, okay? And the attendance two times every class, and you need to say, hello, here I am, or present. And at the end, the one-on-one -on -one session with one of you, okay? So I think there is no problem at all in this situation. Hello, Miss Jenny, Caroline, welcome to the class. Good and evening, good evening, welcome. Remember the bottom mute or silencio until you are required to activate it. The camera must be on. You have the available, available to chats, WhatsApp, and the one here via Zoom. In the breakout rooms, Active participation as you always do, but I need to remind it, okay? And don't forget the button to ask for help if you need me. And respect. Okay, over here you have, there is a little variation. Why? Because of what I was telling you that we didn't have class uh, this last Monday because of the natural disaster in Central America. So we're going to be ending this uh, unit on the 17th. So we expect it and so on. So at the end, I think we're going to be saying goodbye to this uh, level on November the 1st. Let's expect that it is going to be like that. Okay, and here we go class. If you remember, this is part of the feedback. Yesterday we were working with imperatives, right? Ayer estuvimos trabajando con unas oraciones imperativas, okay? Orders or commands. And I share with you these uh, different blocks of affirmative and negative imperatives. And one of the characteristics of the imperatives or commands is that you don't need to use a subject pronoun. Is that okay? Una de las características es que de esta forma eh, estructural, gramaticalmente hablando, no necesitamos un sujeto. You just say the expression, sit down, stand up, close your eyes, open your eyes, eat the food, yeah? Drink the milk, and so on. Don't smoke, look behind you, look behind you, mira hacia atrás, okay? Look behind you, sit up, siéntese bien. Wear a face mask. Use hand sanitizers. Don't park here. Don't shout. Don't eat candies. You know the consequences, okay? And also as a feedback, we have here this conversation. Do you remember the conversation between Marcia and Luke? Yes? And also you were asking and answering these two questions as the very first activity for the introduction of the topic, okay? So I need to volunteers to feedback the pronunciation of this conversation, okay? Two volunteers, only two volunteers, please. Hello? Mm, no volunteers, okay, I'm going to check. Me teacher. Okay, thank you, Miss. Uh, Anna Marlene, you're going to read, Marsha, I need somebody to read, look. Do I have a boy in class? Do I have any boy? Tengo algún chico en la clase. Oh, Nilton, here you are. Nilton, hello. Thank you so much. You're going to hello. read Luke, okay? To the count of three, you begin, okay? Anna Marlene is going to read Marsha. One, two, three. Please send these boxes. Yes, ma'am. 
Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Keep my won't be those memos a secret, please. Sure. Here you go. And oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. Very well. Two more participants to read this conversation. One boy and one girl. Okay, Alejandra, Michelle, you're going to read Marsha. Hello, Merlin Oneida, welcome. And I need one boy. I have uh, Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay, Marlin. Hello, Jonathan, are you here? Jonathan, Jonathan, are you available? No, you're not. Okay, so I'm going to ask uh, Danny. Hello, Danny. Okay, Hello, you're teacher. going to read Luke and Alejandra Michelle is going to read Marsha. Here we go to the count of three. One, two, three. Uh, please send this back, Bash. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new place, the new date for the general meeting. Create a wine. Give, give me one of those memo sticky place. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Excellent. Very well. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Uh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, so it is part of the feedback of what you were doing yesterday, right? And here we continue and I'm going to share with you guys this. For the people who were absent yesterday, we were working with uh, commands or imperatives, okay? Commands are direct instructions or orders to do something. For example, go to the supermarket, yes? Wash your face, brush your teeth, okay? Polish your shoes and so on. But we can say, those commands or imperatives in a nicer way, in a very soft way. En, de una forma más agradable lo podemos decir cuando usamos la palabra please, yeah? And you have two ways to use the word please, at the beginning or at the end. Podemos utilizar la palabra please con los imperatives or commands at the beginning or at the end. Nótese que cuando lo utilizamos al inicio, please, no lleva ninguna puntuación después, pero si lo utilizamos al final de la oración antes de esa palabra, please, debemos usar una coma. ¿Estamos claros? ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. And you were working with this activity, right? You were working with the completion. You were working also in the breakout rooms with uh, this conversation. You were switching roles and you were making it personal for you but also you were interviewing your partners, right? Because here you had these examples. And also you were writing here predictions as a brainstorming, uh, trying to guess, tratando de adivinar lo que el jefe le iba a pedir a su compañero o compañera este día. Do you remember that? Yeah? Okay, and you share the commands you have with your classmates and check the ones that were true. Okay. 
So today we're going to continue working on ongoing activities. But before we go over this class, I'm going to continue showing the PPT, okay? Why? Because after this, hmm, we have the introduction to the topic. And here we have these questions. What class, what are three things you do every day in your workplace, but as a routine that you do it every single day? And what is something you never do in your workplace? Okay, I'm going to ask uh, Filomena, Filomena Luz, hello. Hello. Okay, Filomena, ask me the question in red. Hágame la pregunta, léame la pregunta en rojo. What are three things you do every day in your workplace? Okay, I use a computer, I use internet, I teach a class. Yes, now ask me the second question. La segunda pregunta, Filomen. Okay. What is something you never do you in your workplace? I never clean my classroom. Yes, somebody else does it for me. Nunca. Uh, hago la limpieza en el salón porque alguien más lo hace por mí. Okay. What is something you never do in your workplace? As Filomena asked me the two questions, you are going to ask your partners. You take turns, okay? And in the first one, you are going to name three things that you always do, okay, at work. And, and what is something that you, mm -mm, zero, never do in your workplace? Y acá mencionan algo que jamás, nunca hacen en su puesto de trabajo, okay? Is it clear? Is it correct? Yes. Okay, great. So I'm going to share this slide with you class via WhatsApp so you can have it. Okay, here. And let me see. Over here. Okay, there you are. But uh, let's see. Uh, do you have any question about those two questions, class? Everything is clear about the activity? Todo está claro sobre la actividad que van a realizar? Hello, Dimas. Welcome. We were missing you yesterday. Thank okay, you, okay. Ayer, ayer enfermo. Okay, but now you are better, sí. thank God. Okay, pero hoy está mejor, gracias a Dios. Okay, sí, gracias, do you, gracias. okay. Do you have any question, guys, about the, the activity? Yes, Juan, I, I've seen you. Yeah, but you were here in class, but Dimas was absent the same as Marlene. Okay, so welcome and thank you for joining uh, Juan Ezequiel, okay? So no questions, everything is clear, class? Todo está bien, okay. So since there is no question, before you go to the breakout rooms, I'm going to call your names in order to take the attendance, okay? Ready? Are you ready? Yes. Ready, Okay, teacher. here we go. Yeah. Ana Marlene? Yeah. Thank you, Ana Veronica, Vero? Veronica. Okay, great. Thank you. Brandon. Present teacher. Thank you, Brandon. Carlos Miguel Umaña. Carlos. Carlos Miguel. If this is real. Ah, maybe he is the one who wrote in the, in the chat. Carmen. Hello, Carmen. Carmen is absent at the moment. 
Okay, maybe later on. Clelia? Yes, Anne. Thank you, Miss Clelia. Dani, Daniel Alberto? Present. Thank you so much. David, David Emanuel? Present, teacher. Okay, great, thank you. Edwin, hello, Edwin, are you here or not yet? Not yet. Ivania? Ivania, not yet. Jenny's Caroline. Hello, Present Caroline. Teacher. Yeah, okay. Present. Thank you. Jonathan, are you here, Jonathan? Here I am. Okay, thank you. Dimas, Jose Dimas. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Manuel. <clears throat> Jose Manuel. Not yet. Jose Mario. Not yet. Mm. Juan Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you. Ah, oh, really? Okay. Uh, Marlene Oneida. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin. Jonathan Brandon, clearly Ana Veronica Marlon, William David. No, I don't see Edwin. Maybe he came and he got out. Mm -hmm. But we are going to wait for him, okay? Milton. Present. Thank you. Serafin. Bien, teacher. Yes, thank you. William Francisco. Present. Thank you. Filomena Luz. Present, teacher. Great. Blanqui, Blanca Luz. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Alejandra Michelle. Present teacher. Beatriz, absent. Noé, absent at the moment, okay. Edwin, are you here? Not yet. Okay, class. Right now, remember you are going to take turns asking the questions and answering the questions. Everybody needs to practice the pronunciation of the questions, okay? Todos tienen que practicar la pronunciación de las preguntas. It is not um, allowed that, for example, Jonathan asks the questions and everybody answers no. Jonathan asks Serafin, Serafin asks Clelia, Clelia asks Milton, and Milton asks Jonathan, okay? So everybody can have the chance to practice pronunciation of questions. Here we go. Okay. Right now, I'm going to open all the breakout rooms, okay? Get ready, and here we go. Okay, join your groups, please. Join your groups. Dimas, I need you in group number three, if yours, thank you. Blanqui, please go to group number five. Blanqui, group number five with Jonathan and Serafin. Blanca Luz, group number five, please. Blanqui, do you have problems with your connectivity? Okay, great. Ah, Edwin is in group number one. Haces en tu trabajo. Hello, Edwin. Edwin. Sorry, Hola. hello, Edwin. Thank you. I read your message, but since you didn't answer, I thought that okay, you you were out, but you are here. Welcome. And I was moving my 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 mouse. 
because I see somebody's mouse here and I said, I have a problem with my internet because it doesn't move, but no, it is your image, okay? Uh, everything is clear with the questions? Yes, with the activity? Okay, okay. Okay, bye, see you. Begin practicing, comiencen a practicar pues. Okay, okay. <laughs> Que la segunda es lo que nunca hacemos. Las actividades que tienen en el trabajo. Ajá. Ok. Three things that you always do. Tres cosas que siempre, tres actividades rutinarias de tu trabajo. Que siempre hacen. Ok. Ok. Ok, begin. Sí. No comprendí. Ok. Dicha, eso no está en el manual, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo no? Pero yo se la puse acá porque. Ah, está. Es que no le puedo compartir. Ah. El permiso, sí, porque usted está compartiendo. Ok, at the beginning, at page 24, en la página 24 al inicio. Here. Ah. Exercise uh -huh. one, what are three things you do ah. every day in your workplace? What is something you never do in your workplace? Esto es lo que tienen que hacer, nada más, ¿ok? Ok. Comiencen okay. speaking, only speaking. Ok. Ok. Vaya, ya las, las, las leí a usted, compañero. Oh, no, 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 no las he leído. No, no. pero ¿quién las va a contestar? Ajá, alguien las pregunta y los demás lo contestan. ¿verdad? No, usted las oh. lee y se las pregunta a alguien directamente. Ajá. La persona que le conteste a usted le hace la pregunta, a, las preguntas a alguien a más. Y así, okay. sí. Y la, así otra persona le va a preguntar a usted, ¿ok? Ok. okay Entonces bye. yo le respondo, compañero. Ok. And you say the questions go to... Las preguntas va para, ¿ok? Para Ana Verónica. Uh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se dice? What, bueno. What are... What... Hello, did you finish asking and answering the questions? Eh, estaba esperando que Brandon termine ahí un, la última pregunta. Las no estoy terminando de responder, de responder la pregunta. Ok, ok, great. But there is no question. Everything is clear. Pero todo está claro. Sí. Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. Bye. Did you finish? Serafín tiene una pregunta. No really. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Okay. Tell me. Ask me the question. Haga la pregunta. Como son tres cosas que, que hacemos en nuestro trabajo. That, no, but that you always do, que siempre hace. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Que siempre hago. Y hay uh -huh. una y las que nunca haría, ¿verdad? En mi trabajo. Una, una que nunca hace. No que nunca haría, que nunca hace. Darle órdenes al jefe nunca lo haría. No, nunca lo hace. No es nunca lo haría porque ahí es otra situación. Ah, es que vaya, nunca futuro. hace. Ah, no, okay. en el presente que nunca hace. Que no es su función, pues. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. ser entonces, clean de, ¿cómo sería este, limpiar la biblioteca o? Clean de, de ajá. Ah, tienen Pero biblioteca, bien. tienen biblioteca. Eh, o sea, la, la, perdón, archivo. Archivo. Ok. Hacer la limpieza en el archivo. Eso es lo que en, nunca. Pero en su oficina sí la hace. En mi oficina sí, pero en la en la en el archivo no. Ok. In the in the files room. The, files. Uh, I never I never clean the files. Files son archivos. The files room. Ok. I never do files. the cleaning in the files. F I L E S. Como los expedientes sí. X, X, X files. X files. X files. X files. X files. We learn files. also by association. También aprendemos por asociación, recuerden, ¿ok? O es Cooley, la actriz. 
the, the, the main files. Remember that. Okay. Therapy. I never cleaned the files room. Okay. okay, great. So you see that was easier when you associated, yeah? The, okay. the, the, the series. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everybody answered. Todos contestaron ya y todos preguntaron. No, a eso vamos, la estábamos anotando. Okay. Teacher. A, a okay. eso vamos. Ok, let's begin with the speaking practice. Ok. Jonathan. Hola. Ahora yo le pregunto a Nilton. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. What are three things? you do every day in your workplace? In my workplace, every day, take my breakfast. They make breakfast, to breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Second? Ah, okay, no, no, number two. Uh, every day, answer cell phone. I answer the cell phone, okay? Answer. I answer the cell phone. Okay. Every day answer. No tiene que decir every day porque ya se supone que lo hacen todos los días. Ah, okay. Solo la actividad. I answer the phone. Mm -hmm. I answer the phone. Okay. Did you finish the practice class? Hello. Hello, teacher. Yes. Todos preguntaron y todos contestaron. Yes. Okay. The two questions. Las dos preguntas se hicieron ya. Sí, las dos. Okay. I'm La going to. Okay, I'm going to ask Filomena. Filomena, tell me, what is something you never do in your workplace? What is something you never do in your workplace? I always know that, that you never do, que nunca haces. Una cosa que nunca haces. Okay. Never do. Okay. I never uh, print documents. Imprimir documentos. Okay, I never print documents. Excellent. Documents. Juan, what is something you never do in your workplace? Hello, Juan. Sorry, micrófono, lo siento. Okay. okay lo, 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 lo que hago, okay. I always mm -hmm. clean the buildings. No, something that you never do. I never. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I never check uh, documents. You never, never check documents. Only one. Okay. I I'll never do. check. Oh, yeah. For the second one is something, algo que nunca hace. Something, algo. Okay. Three things, tres cosas. Now, William Francisco, what is, what is something you never do in your workplace? Cosas que se hago al trabajo, ¿verdad? The second question, what is something you never, never do in your workplace? I, I never sleep in my work. Okay, great. Clelia, Clelia, what is something you never do in your workplace? I never call clients. I never call clients. Excellent. Remember, what are three things you do every day? Tres cosas que siempre haces. In the second one, never means nunca, jamás lo haces, okay? Something, algo, you never do in your workplace. Algo que nunca haces en tu trabajo. What is something you never do in your workplace, okay? So don't get confused because you automatically were trying to answer the first one, but no, you need to listen, okay, to the question. Questions or comments? Doubts about this activity? No? No. 
Everything is clear? Yeah? yeah. Okay. And you wanted to name more things that you never do at work. Yes? Y les, eh, y les aseguro que quizás mencionar más cosas que nunca hacen el trabajo. Right? Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, great. I'm going to close the breakout rooms and then we're going to get back. Thank you for your participation, guys. Okay. Thank you very much for your participation class and now I'm going to continue sharing my PPT with you. Okay, so here, these are the two questions you were asking and answering in the breakout rooms. And it is the first activity in your uh, manual. But here we go. Now look at this. Aha. Uh -huh. We have have to and need to. Have to. We, we use have to when it is necessary to do something, whether you like it or not. Vamos a utilizar have to cuando es necesario hacer algo, ya sea que te guste o no te guste. But you have to. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like to, to drink milk, but you have to. Pero tienes que tomártela, yes? Because it is necessary, probably. Need to, when there is a benefit for you. Acá, need to, cuando hay un beneficio para usted, para mí. You, you go and ask to someone, hey, do me a favor. I need to print these papers or these documents. Necesito imprimir estos documentos. Please do me the favor, por favor. Ok, hazme este favor, ¿sí? I need, ¿por qué? Porque yo necesito salir con mi eh, trabajo. Si no los imprimo, uh -uh, no voy a terminar mi, mi función de este día, ¿de acuerdo? There is a benefit. Okay, so right now here we have have to and need to. What are you going to do right now, class? Okay, here you're going to go and work like this, okay? First, we're going to work as a um, brainstorm, yeah? Vamos a hacerlo como lluvia de ideas, como ejemplo. Have to. I would like you to name some of the things that you have to do. Me gustaría que nombraran algunas de las actividades que tienen que hacer, whether you like it or not, ya sea que le guste o no. Ok. You say, I have to. Pero especialmente eh, relacionadas al trabajo. Ok. I have to. Maybe be on time. Tengo que estar a tiempo. Yes or no? Because if you don't do it, there is a consequence. And it is not a good consequence. Yes? Okay. And on the other side, we have, uh, okay, over here, sometimes we say, I, I need, I need some vacations. Necesito vacaciones. Yes or no? When you feel so exhausted, yeah? When there is a burnout. Y el beneficio es para usted porque usted se va a relajar, ¿sí? You're going to say goodbye to the stress. I need some vacations, okay? So we're going to write here, I have to and need to. As a class, you're going to work in the breakout rooms and you are going to write a list of activities that you have to do at work and here the ones that you need to do either at work or for your own, okay? Ya acá en need to, ya sea que las necesita en el trabajo o eh, en su casa, en su vida, okay? And have to necesariamente en el trabajo. But before we go over, we are going to have a little feedback. Vamos a tener un pequeño repaso. Okay, here. It is uh, over here. There is a situation over here. Have. 
is a simple verb. But in this case, you need to add to, have to. Y el siguiente es un verbo, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, la parte verbal acá no es solo have, no, es have to, tener que. And then we say, I have to. Then you, let's conjugate it, you have to. He, do you remember how we conjugate the verb have in third person singular? He, ¿se recuerdan cómo se conjuga? El verbo have, has. excellent. Has. Has. It's a change in third person singular. He has to, y no importa si es tercera persona, Él lleva la partícula to. He has to pay attention in class. Whether you like it or not, you have to. Okay? He has to. And then she. She has, has to. Very well. What about it? It. Have or has? Has. It has, has, has. to. Excellent. For example, uh, for a pet, yeah? And then we have we, have or has? We have um, to, great. Um, and then we have the plural you. You um, have to, excellent. And then we have they, <clears throat> have or has? Um, they have to, excellent. They have to. Great. And here we say, for example, I have to tell me one 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 activity that is mandatory to do. I have to, for example, brush my teeth. Yes or no? Either you like it or not, or you are very, very sleepy, very tired, but you have to brush your teeth. Yes or no? Brush your teeth with the toothpaste and the, and the, okay? And the toothbrush. Now, tell me an example. You have to? Take have your to. breakfast. Take your breakfast, very well. Take your breakfast. Excellent. And then we have he. Okay, tell me an example for he has to. Take a shower. Excellent, okay. even though it is very cold, right? Take a shower. Even though the, the weather is very, very cold and the water is very cold, but you have to. Yes, whether you like it or not, you say, oh, I would yeah. like to. But like in the weekend here, right? The ones who live in Chalatenango. She has to. Hello. One example. She has to. Uh, sleep no sería. Mm, and that me, is, sí, maybe need. Okay, no, maybe need because it is for her benefit. Es para, para su benefit. Has, uh -huh. She has to. She has to make your backpack. Oh, she, she has to. Hello. She has to. She has to make your bride. Your what? No, ¿cómo se dice mochila o, o... Ah, your backpack. Backpack. Uh -huh, it's okay. Backpack. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. It has to. It has to be finished by Friday night, the homework. This is what I tell you. It has to be, whether you have time or not, you need to, you have to, you have to as an obligation, yeah? We have to, something that we have to do, we have to, Hello, we have to. Maybe um, 
what if we say we have to be in class? O sea, que espera, cuando ella lo se lo mandó a gente, ya. Okay, we have to be in class. Yes. Um, we have to be in class. Now, for you in plural, you have to work. You have to work. Excellent. They have to send the report. Send the report, probably right now. Yes, right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Otherwise, there's a consequence. Or also, you can also say uh, they have to send the report right now. Okay. We did this list of examples because of the conjugation for have and has. For third person singular, he has, she has, it has in simple present. But in the case of need, you only add the letter S to the verb. Yes or no? Okay. Because this is simple. We say, I need to, okay? And then we say, I need to. You? Need to. He. What do we say? Need or what is the change? O lo dejamos así sin ningún cambio. Need. Ne needs. Oh, excellent. He needs to. She. Needs to. Needs to. Okay. It needs to, yeah? And then we need to. In plural, you need to, correct? Then they need to. And then you write, for example, I need to. I need to have a cup of coffee, but urgently, you say, yeah, in the morning. To be productive, I need to have a cup of coffee, yeah, because it is on your benefit. And so on, and you continue with the examples, okay, over here. So remember, right now you're going to be transferred to the breakout rooms in order to write a list of examples. Okay, I have to share with you the picture because I didn't send it. Shall we go over the next activity? Yes? Podemos continuar con la siguiente actividad? If you don't have any question about this, of course. Si no hay preguntas sobre esto. No question. No questions, okay, shall we? Yes. Podemos continuar? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, great. I'm going to stop sharing this because right now I'm going to share with you this slide. Okay, let's see this one. Okay, there you are. And now class, remember that you are working to, to work this as a group, okay? I have to, I need you to generate 10 sentences using have to, okay? Something that is necessary and need to when there is something that you need to do, but 
there is a benefit for you in there, okay? Questions, comments? Dudas, está clara la actividad? Is it clear what you are going to do, class? Acá lo van a generar como equipo, ¿verdad? No individual, sino que como equipo. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. And here we go. Okay, I'm going to open. Si alguien se unió uh, reciente, se espera para que lo una los equipos. Okay, here we go. Okay, go to your groups. If you are so nice, please, and begin working. Go to your groups and practice. Here, Danny. Ivania, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Ivania, you go to group number four. Okay. Okay, go to group number four. You're going to work with Ana Marlene, Brandon, David. And Danny, your group? Danny, your group? Hello, ¿Se recuerda de su equipo? No, perdí conexión un momento. Perdió la conexión por un momento. Ok, dos, cuatro, dos, cuatro. Marlene, your group is number four. Marlene, William, go to your group. Your group is number two. Ah, Danny, then. Ok, go, Danny, go to group number one. ¿Quién está compartiendo pantalla aquí? Dani, al equipo uno. Okay. Marlene, váyase a su equipo, por favor. William, únase a su equipo. William, ¿sabe cuál es su equipo? William. No sé, aquí me, me asignaron. No, es que usted está, yo no sé por quién está compartiendo pantalla. Ok, bye. Ana Marlene tiene que irse al equipo 4. William, usted tiene que estar en el equipo número 2. Ok, great. Marlene, Ana Marlene. Hello, Marlene. Marlene, we need you in group number 4. Thank you. Hello here, Ivania, Brandon, and David. Yes. Okay. Um, Ana Marlene y Karen Murillo. Ana Marlene goes to this group, group number four. She belongs to this group. Okay, Ana Marlene. Okay. Okay. So begin building. Remember that you may... Uh, you may class uh, share the screen, okay? Para que vayan ahí llenando los espacios. Uh, so here we are. Brandon, David, Ana Marlene, and Ivania, okay? Begin building the, the sentences in order to complete the two tables. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Compañero. La que estabas mencionando ahorita. You have uh -huh. to, get, to get a visa to enter the USA. You have to get, get a, a visa to enter the USA. To enter así. Mm -hmm. eh, está the USA, the? Así. Ah, yeah, ¿Sí? USA. Ok. Sí, pero un puntito antes de la letra A. Y acá U, eh, la O va antes de la U. Hay que invertir esas letras. Recuerden, traten de ubicarlo eh, en situaciones laborales, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Ok, ok. Ok. Ok, bye. Pero, ¿cómo sería? Ah, ya me equivoqué.
Everything okay? Clelia, Filomena, William, and Juan. Todo bien, chicos? Sí. Okay, great. Sí. Okay, great. Declaraciones. Declaraciones. Ah, se quiere. Ah, pues habla de declaraciones. De IVA, de impuestos. <ríe> Bye. La, la suya, Brando. Hola, Brando. Brando, are you here? Ya volví, teacher, el papá que me había ido tinta. Ah, ok, because they are waiting for yours. Me saca de la... El inter es el que cuando no falle, sí. ok. I have to do my homework. Ok. Uh, yo tengo otra, creo que es, es I have to deliver on time. Ok, very well. Uh, óigame. Traten de asociarlos a, al trabajo, ¿ok? To deliver what? Entregar a tiempo. Entregar ¿De qué este, cosa? Pues? Este documento. I have to deliver documents on time. Porque le digo esto porque to deliver, así, I have to deliver, es dar a luz. También. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for, example, <laughs> for example, if I ask Marlene, hey Marlene, when did you deliver? Cuando diste a luz y la veo con el bebé. Ok. Por eso, deliver qué? Teacher. Yes. Ese, la diferencia entre work and job. Work es la acción, ¿verdad? El verbo. Y job es el nombre o sustantivo. Empleo o trabajo, ¿sí? Porque no se puede conjugar. Usted no dice I job, you job, he jobs, no. Es sustantivo, nombre o sustantivo. Mientras que work es el trabajo. I work, you work, he works, they work. Ok. Ok, bye. Yo tengo otra aquí de have to y sería have. Ajá, tú dices. No, no, descubrió. Teacher. Yes. Help. Help. Okay. ¿Cómo vamos? La necesitamos no todos sé. en inglés. <laughs> <laughs> ok, he needs before the end of the year. But he needs a bonus before, La U. Uh, before the year ends. He needs a bonus before the year ends. Before the uh -huh. year ends. Antes de que finalice el año. Yeah, uh, Ajá. Ends. Es que el bono ah, de fin de año porque es, a veces hay tres bonos. Ok, ends. No, but listen. Ok. Sí, la dice S. que tiene tres bonos. No como no con la. Con por la, ejemplo, con, por, por ejemplo. El de Navidad, el de fin de año es Christmas bonus. Mm -hmm. Es el que tiene la mayoría de. Gente. de la Navidad. Ajá, Christmas bonus. Uh -huh. Ajá, el aguinaldo. Bueno. Aguinaldo, Christmas bonus, ah. Aguinaldo, Christmas bonus. Uh -huh. Y hay quienes tienen como Serafín, tres o cuatro o cinco bonus, y hay quienes tienen bonus cada mes, ¿verdad? Qué afortunado, Serafín. Y en Aguinaldo, Christmas bonus, ay, very sad. Okay. He needs to visit. Compártalo. Ya quisiera, pero solo dan dos. Ay, les falta half two. Sí, sí, estamos trabajando todavía, ¿no? Ok. Veamos, ahí. Uh... José Mejía. Pero, o sea, asocia, asocienlo con las actividades laborales para que se les facilite. Uh -huh. Yo puse, I have to go to work. Tenemos yes. que, tengo uh -huh. que ir a trabajar. Ajá. Uh -huh. <risa> ya. Yeah. Whether you like it or not. Ya sea que le guste o no. I have to get to work. Okay. To work. Work. Okay. Another example. I have to drive. I have to drive. Drive the car. To drive to work. I have to drive to work. 
La jipeta. Que conducía, ¿ah? El maquinón. El maquinón. De maquinón. She has to drive the maquinón. Yes. Ok, bye. I need to help her. Okay. Bye. And Jonathan, oh my God. Eh. No me acuerdo. I need to. Necesito que necesita. I need Vaya, to. Sería, I need to need, bonus. No. Pero sería to, to bonuses. Sería. Necesita dos bonos y solo le dan el Christmas bonus. O el solo el aguinaldo. Christmas sería. bonus <laughs> equals aguinaldo. Okay. Entonces sería I need uh, to Christmas. No, I need I need to I need to have or I need to get the Christmas bonus. I need to, to get. Necesito obtener. I need to get the Christmas. Christmas. Bonus. Christmas. Así se escribe Christmas. No, no. Okay, listen. Okay. Only letter C. Solo la letra C. Deje solo la letra C. Okay, now H as in house. H as in, okay. I as in Irma. Okay. Ah, uh, before before the I, you need the R, right? R, R. Ah, uh, okay. No, antes de la I. Antes de la I. Uh -huh. Eva la R. No, la R. <laughs> Aquí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Sí. Ok. Es. Ok. T, asinto meiro. Ok. M. Ok. E, asin apple. Ok. S. Ok. Ok. Another word. Bonus. Bonus. Así. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Christmas okay. is with capital letter. Christmas con mayúscula. Thus, the letter C must be capital. Yeah, Christmas bonus. And full stop at the end. Punto final. Christmas bonus. Okay, thanks. Okay, you, great. Teacher. My pleasure. He has to organize a meeting. They have to repair the roof. You have to get a visa to enter the USA. Pero ahí ese you está mal escrito, ¿verdad? Tenemos que cambiar esas dos letritas de orden. En you. No, pero porque me han escrito Estados Unidos. Tiene que ser USA because we are in English, not in Spanish. USA. Okay. USA. A as in Apple. No, that's E. A as a excellent. Y acá you, el sujeto you, al principio en esa oración, check it out. Ok. Excellent. Okay, And remember, you. you need a full stop at the end of each sentence. Recuerden que necesitan punto final en cada oración, ok? Ok, teacher, thank you. Excellent. I need to get the Christmas bonus as soon as possible. Tan pronto como sea posible, ¿ya? Sí, ya. Sí. Y comprar la moto. Oh, wow, be careful. <laughs> be careful with the motorcycle, ¿ok? A lot of accidents, crashes. Bye, see okay. you later. Continue. Okay, bye. Yeah. I knew... Uh... Hello, class. Finished. Finished. Did you finish building as a group all the sentences? You said uh, have two and need two. Sí, ya hicieron la, la, la unificación de su trabajo. Hola. Ya unificaron las oraciones con have to y con need to. Como equipo. Hello, hello. William, I don't listen to you.
probablemente yo he perdido la conexión, no me escuchan mis estudiantes. Hello, teacher. No, no, sorry. <risa> ok, Juan. En no, solo modificado... he realizado las oraciones, solamente no hemos. <risa> ok, traten de unificarlas como equipo, ¿verdad? Ok. Porque si alguien escribió dos, tres, tienen que, por ejemplo, yo le pedía a Juan que me lea sus oraciones sobre have to, ok. Ok. Yeah. I have cleaned the field. I have to paint the room. Uh -huh. I have to remove the garbage. I have uh, to remove have... the garbage. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sería? Sorry. Remove, remove. Remove. Ah, ok, the okay. garbage. Ok. Ok. Y I have to be as a smitty. Excellent. Very well. Congratulations. Filomena, your sentences with up to? Hello. Hello. Your sentences with up to? Sí, la have it too. Mm -hmm. I have I have to be responsibly responsible responsible it's ordered. Okay. I have to send work a schedule. 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 Okay. Schedule. I have to give sales walls. Sales. 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 Walls. Invoices. If. Excuse me. Invoices. Yes, okay. Yes. I have to make things team work. I have to attend meetings with the teamwork. I have to attend meetings with the teamwork. I, I have to meeting. No, to meeting, no. To attend meetings with the teamwork. Asistir. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. I have to be deep. No. I have to keep product to sell. Okay, very well, excellent. Uh, Clelia, your sentences I, with need to? Need to. I need to drink coffee. I mm -hmm. need to have lunch. I need to clean my desk. Okay. <laughs> William Francisco, your sentences with need to? I need to visit clients. I need to say product. I need to check records. Excellent. Very well. Okay, class. I think that in this group, you have clear the use of have to and need to. Yes? Si tenemos claro el uso de have to and need to. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Now we're going to get back to the main session room to continue with the class. Congratulations. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Dimas. Okay, let's wait for the others to get back. Dima está la Matrix. Yeah, yeah. He's new. He's Para new. No me vean el fondo new. de la sala. Ah. Uh, 
<laughs> you know what? I have to uh, use that background, okay? Because it is mandatory, okay? But you see, okay, here we go. Let's see, everybody got back. Okay, they are in their way. Let's wait for some of them. Okay, class, congratulations in your in your performance. Now tell me, do you have clear the use of have to and need to? The difference? Tienen claro el uso de have to y need to? La diferencia? Sí? O aún no? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. okay, great. Now let's continue, class. Yes, Thank you so much. And here we go. Right now, okay, these are the two questions, yeah, that you were asking and answering at the beginning. And you were identifying the uses for have to and need to. And now we continue here. Read about Mr. Wilson. Check the correct sentences and correct the wrong ones, okay? <clears throat> this is part of what we needed to do, okay? Here, hello, my name is Jan Wilson. I work in a no, hello, yes? No veo nada, mi pantalla está negro. Alguien más tiene ese problema? Yo tampoco. No puedo ver ni a mis compañeros. ¿Está en teléfono usted? Sí. Miss, miss, yo sí estaba, sí lo podía ver, yo sí. Sí lo podía ver y está en teléfono. Recuerden que cuando están en yes, teléfono, sí, en tienen teléfono. Que ver así, ¿verdad? La, la pantallita para que puedan ver eh, el, el otro cuadro, ¿sí? Pero yes. vamos a hacerlo de nuevo, ¿ok? No se olviden de eso. Acabamos. Ok, and tell me it now. Uh, Edwin, now, do you see the screen? No. ¿Quién más no la puede ver? Yo tampoco, teacher, pero sé como que está cargando, pero no veo nada. <laughs> ah, entonces probablemente sea el eh, problema de internet con ustedes, ¿verdad? Para que se cargue la imagen. Pero como quiera, les cuento que estamos en la página 24 y van a trabajar en equipos, ¿sí? Las instrucciones, read about Mr. Wilson's and check the correct sentences and correct the wrong ones. Vamos a leer este párrafo y luego se van a ir a trabajar ustedes en equipos y van a corregir las oraciones que están incorrectas de acuerdo a la lectura y van a Pura tick, van a poner un chequecito en las que están correctas. So here we go. Hello, my name is Jan Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings. Meeting? Attend meetings, asisto a reuniones. I attend meetings in the morning and not so often, y no muy seguido, no muy a menudo. In the afternoon, in my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Fíjense acá el uso de always, la frequency word. Y el verbo to be, am. Entonces, la posición del frequency adverb es después del verbo to be. ¿De acuerdo? A diferencia de esta que está acá. Miren, la vamos a remarcar. Ok, here. I always answer the phone. Answer es el verbo. Por lo tanto, el adverbio de frecuencia va antes de este verbo porque no es el verbo to be. However, look at this one. Pero vean esta, sin embargo, here we have the verb to be, the position of the frequency 
adverb is after the verb to be. La posición del adverbio de frecuencia es después del verbo to be. ¿Notan la diferencia en las posiciones? Yes. Ok. Now, in number one, his name is John Wilkins. Is it correct or incorrect? Correct. Correcto. Incorrect. No. Incorrect. It is incorrect. Ah, and Wilson and Wilkins are leading. Then you say, yeah, you're going to say here, you're going to write. As a group, you analyze his name is, what's his name? John, John Wilson. Wilson. Okay, yeah. very well. And yeah. first stop. The ones that are correct, you don't rewrite it. Las que están correctas no las escriben nuevamente, pero las que están incorrectas las van a corregir. So you're going to be transferred to the breakout rooms and you take turns reading this uh, paragraph and later you go over the analysis of these sentences in comparison to the information that you have in this paragraph. Is that okay? Okay. Yes? Okay, great. And you have this in your manual. But if uh, someone wants to take a screenshot, okay, uy. okay, hold it. Maybe, okay, because they are, but you have to take two screenshots, okay, because of this. Okay, take one, because there are seven uh, sentences. And now take another one with this, with the other sentence. Ready? Here we go, okay. Y al final Edwin no vio, no logró visualizar. Edwin, Edwin, hello. Okay, I'm sending you right now to the breakout rooms. Recuerden, Toman turnos, todos tienen que leer, ok? Go to your groups and practice. Go to your groups and practice. Okay. Dimas in group number three. Dimas. Okay, remember to take turns reading the information, okay? Recuerden turnarse para leer, practice pronunciation. Okay. okay. Primero leemos entonces sí. cada uno. Eh, eh, sí, eh, primero digamos Dani, luego Milton y luego Jenny, porque en medida que usted va leyendo, usted va recordando la información, sí. Ok. okay. Okay, it is like a comprehensive reading. Lectura comprensiva. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, entonces I La captura no la no la logramos tomar, teacher. No, oh, I don't believe you. Entonces les voy a compartir acá y la logran tomar, por favor. Ok. Bueno. Here we go. Primero les comparto la lectura. Ok. Over there. Take a screenshot. Sí. Ok. And now, take a screenshot of the sentences. Ya. Ya está. Ok. Take turns reading. Se van a turnar porque todos tienen que leer. Vamos a hacer lectura comprensiva. A medida que van leyendo, van comprendiendo mejor la información, ¿sí? Y no tienen necesidad de andarla buscando. ¿Ok? Begin. Who's going to read first? Y ahí comparten la, la, la imagen, ¿verdad? Ok, bye. Bye. No me... Okay. Tenemos no. que leer todos el párrafo. El, el Correcto. Contestarlo. Así es, porque será lectura comprensiva, ¿verdad? 
No scanning. Sí. Ok. ¿Quién comenzó eso? ¿Quién comenzó? <risa> Voy a ser caballero, se eh, comienza el bien de ustedes. Bye. Pues, a ver, la primera. Entonces, ok, who begins reading and who's going to share the screen? ¿Quién va a compartir la pantalla? Dimas. Ajá. Ok, Dimas o Verónica, I don't know, o Michelle. Ahí está. Ok, okay perfecto, excelente. Ahí está. Ok, great. Ok, comienza. Who's going to start? Okay. Volunteers. Él dijo que iba a comenzar y iba a hacer ah, el oh, Ah, sí va. Sí, ah, sí, ok. Ah, okay. oh, because the, here in this group there are three girls and one boy. Ok. Ok. Hello, my name is John Wilson. Uh, 21st. 21st. Okay. 21st. And uh, we have to obtain our meeting. About the conference on July to nine. To come this day, teacher in twenty dos. Twenty second. Twenty second. I am always busy. Busy, 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 busy. Okay. Twenty what? Twenty fifth. Um, and then we have two attends and meetings about. The conference on July 22 sec 20 seconds. I am always busy. BC. BC. Miren, y ya todos habían leído. Yo era no. el tercero ya, mis falta. Falto yo. Es yo que no veo que falta. ya, es que veo que ya contestaron todas las, las oraciones, no, pero, pero no las han reescrito. Es que estamos no. así como sweet rolls. Oh, switch rolls. Okay. Switch rolls. Okay, excuse me. I'm sorry for the interruption. Continue, please. No, but that's great. Congratulations. Okay. Great. John. Okay. 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 la la pantalla. Sí, yo la veo, la veo, la veo. Hoy sí. Ay, qué bueno. Fabuloso. Sí. Vine a verificar. Okay, so oh. here you are Nilton, Edwin, Caroline, Janice, Caroline, and Danny. Begin, yeah. please. Janice, ¿verdad que no se ha quedado conmigo? Nunca. A ayer, teacher. Ayer se nos quedamos, ¿verdad? Okay, thank yeah. you. Okay. Continue. Dele la oportunidad a Edwin que lea para... para Edwin. Ajá. Sí, porque para que aproveche la conectivity. Gracias, teacher. Okay. En italiano. We have event. We have to attend a conference on July twenty one, and then we have twenty first. Twenty first. Sorry. As meeting uh, about the conference in. Like uh, Seria 22, eh, I am 20 second, 20 second, 20 second. Okay, 20 second. Mm -hmm. I am always. I am always. I am always. Le falta una palabra. I am always. I am always. Busy. 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 BC, 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 ok. Ok, BC. Ok, very well. Did all of you read? Did all of you have the reading practice? Todos practicaron ya. Es falta William. Ok, William, hello. William, William, are you here? William, are you available? 
Sí, la escucho. Ah, ok. Read, please, the paragraph. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resource manager. Every day, check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon in my company. We always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22. I am always busy. Busy. Busy, uh -huh. Busy, uh -huh. Now listen, you say 21st for the date, 21st, 22nd, okay? 21st, July 21st, July 22nd. Okay. 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 And now answer the sentences and determine if they are correct, no problem. But if they are incorrect, you have to rewrite them. You have to write them in the correct way. Okay. Tiene que escribirlas en la forma correcta, ¿sí? Sí. Okay. okay. He always, always answer he always answers answers the yes, other the person phone, singular. Answers, he, the phone okay he checks he checks emails la uh -huh. la es ahí solo ok solo se posiciona posiciones en la letra después de la letra K ok pero sale esto ah, hágase un poquito hacia atrás con el cursor y ahí escribe la S y luego se sale y ya verá que ahí ya está ingresado Así. Sí. Ah, pero ¿qué pasó? Como lo escribió antes, tiene que irse de espacio y posiciónese justo a la par de la letra K, sin dejar espacio. Solo ah. Ajá. Mueva el no. cursor, mueva el cursor hacia, o sea, el espaciador a la par de la letra K. El espaciador que tiene ahí. La, el tab, pues. Eh, el espaciador. Eh, decir la. la, la. <risa> Ay, teacher, usted me da clases a mí. <risa> Posición ese justo. Ok, el cursor, ubíquelo justo a la par acá de la letra K. A la par. Sí. That's okay. correct. Ahí. Okay. Ya hizo clic ahí. Ya hizo clic ahí. Clic derecho. El sí. Ya. Eh. No, solo haga clic. Pero eh, no entiendo qué, qué, qué es lo que hizo <ríe> allá que no, no, no le acepta. No me da para editar, la verdad. Bueno. No tiene que darle, pa, tiene que, lo que pasa es que quizás movió alguna función allá, porque no me, no veo que, que pueda escribir. Vaya, ahora escriba para la número cuatro. Vamos a ver si sí si puede. En la número, ahí. si ahí la tenía buena. En la oración número cuatro, he often attends meetings in the morning. Is it correct or incorrect? Está correcta. 
Ah, pero está en la number three. He, ans he always answers. Ajá. Uh -huh. Vaya, complete, complete. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, no, está bien, continúa. Don't get nervous. I'm going to leave and I'll be back. Okay. Eh, lo que pasa es que no puedo editar la que estaba continuando, pero bueno. Hasta ok, la siga, siga, continue, please. I'm sorry. He never... But you know that the, you need an S over here. Pero lo que, bueno es que le dije que aquí necesitamos una S. You need to write an S. And you have to. The two situations. You have to write it and you need to. Ok. Then you need it to have the sentence correct. And you have to do it because it is the correct grammar. Okay? Entonces aquí aplican los dos verbos. You have to and you need to. Okay? Okay, relax okay. and you can do it. Okay, bye. Okay, okay. I am manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. Okay. We finish, teacher. And the answers? Y las respuestas? Están escritas en papel. Ah, sí. you papel did it paper, paper ink. Yes. Papel y lápiz, paper ink. Okay, you say that, paper ink. Okay, thank you. Continue reading. Continue with the practice of reading because I'm going to monitor the other groups, okay? Okay. And then okay. We, thank you. Practice, thank you. remember, practice makes perfect. Okay. Okay, continue reading. Practice in the reading. Uh, okay. He always wants to dance. Uh, all the sentences are incorrect. Ah. Yes, um, you know why. Teacher. Ya saben por qué. Que le hace el punto le hace falta. Uh -huh. ah, the final. Oh, es full stop. Okay, sí. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo es el punto en inglés, eh, teacher? Uh, full uh, stop. No. Full stop. Uh -huh. Point, le voy a poner ya. In point. numbers, in, oh. you say 1.5. 1.5 five in that case. Okay. Okay, 1.5. Pero en esto es a full stop, period, punto y seguido. Period, punto y seguido. Full period. stop, okay, or stop is the punto final. Dots, dots. D O T S punto suspensivos. Dots. Okay, class. He always has events. Now I think that we can get back to the main session room. Yes? Okay. Okay, okay. great. Thank you for your active participation. Okay, we have here that the first sentence is incorrect because his name is not John Wilkins. His name is John Wilson, right? And now here you have number two. He writes reports every day. What do you think, class? Is it correct or is it incorrect? Incorrect. Mm -hmm. It is incorrect. Okay, let's wait for the others. They are joining. They are getting back. Let me see. And I'm going to request one volunteer. He checks email every day. Okay, thank you. In order to provide me with the correct sentence. And here, he Tell me the correct sentence. He is checks. He checks. He makes emails every day. Every day. Okay. He checks emails every day. 
Now, he never answers answers. We don't say answer, no. You say answers. Forget about the W is voiceless. No se pronuncia la, la W, answers. He never answers the phone and talk to customers, correct or incorrect? Correct. 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 Number four, he often attends meetings in the morning. Correct or incorrect? He often? Correct. It is correct. Let's see. I attend correct. meetings in the morning. No, he says, generally, I attend meetings in the morning. Por eso es incorrect. It has to be generally and not often, right? He generally attends meetings in, in the, the morning. morning. Okay. Now, he never attends meetings in the afternoon. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. It is incorrect. So the correct sentence should be he, he often he not so he often, not, not so so often, often. Okay, attends teacher meetings in, in afternoon meetings in the afternoon sí, ahí está. and not so often in the afternoon meetings. teacher y por qué la tres está correcta afternoon okay hold it he not so often attends meetings in the afternoon y él casi nunca no muy a menudo, no muy a menudo, asiste a reuniones en la tarde. He never answers the phones and talk to customers. Let me see. Uh, okay, I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone. Number three, he never, ah, this is incorrect. Yes. He always, Thank you. He always answers, ah, because I was pointing at the pronunciation. He always answers the phone, yeah? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Uy. Pero customer, ¿qué significa? Clientes. It is Clientes. a synonym for clients. Yeah, yeah. Customers are the same. Y potencial no. employees. Que Pero dice. es que es empleados. Es que acá, I always answer the phone. Ajá. Mm. Entonces está correcto. Estaba correcto. No, no, it is 50%. Because he, he never answers the phone. Él es nunca le habla a los clientes. No, momento, momento. He never answers the phone. Hemos corregido esa porque esta oración es incorrecta. Él nunca contesta el teléfono porque acá dice que él siempre la contesta, lo contesta. He always yes. answers the phone. Yes. Pero And siempre le contesta to... a la potencial. No, 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 no. No es lo mismo. No, le no, llama. No. Óiganme, son dos cosas diferentes. I always okay. answer the phone. Su función es contestar el teléfono. And, y otra función más, talk to potential employees y hablar con futuros candidatos a empleados, sí, pero acá dice, uh, answers the phone and talk to customers, entonces sería and ok, oh, and uy and and talk to potential employees Employees, okay, very well. Employees. Y ahí lo estamos corrigiendo porque en lugar de customers es employees, ¿sí? Pero son dos actividades diferentes, okay? And now, he usually has events in his company. Correct. Okay, so? He always. He always. He Event. Always has events Event. in his company. Okay, great. 
What about the last one? He has to go to a conference on July 22nd. Okay, here we have to attend a conference on July 21st. And 21st. then we have to attend a, to attend a, meeting. a meeting. So it is incorrect. Yes. Yes, because we say he has to attend what? He has, he to, has attend to attend a meeting. A meeting on July 22nd. Okay. And that's it. Yes? Yes. Okay, very well. And now here, we move right here. Okay, at page 20, 20, 26. Yes? Mm -hmm. Because we have here the verbs. How to use have to and need to. Now you know how to do it. Ahora ya saben cómo, ¿verdad? Se trabajan estos dos verbos. Verbs, have to and need to. Activities. For example, you say, I have to prepare a document for my boss. I need to prepare a document for my boss. Here, you can use both of them, yes? En este caso, podemos utilizar los dos verbos. I have to prepare a document for my boss because it is part of my duties, my obligations, yes? And I need to prepare a document for my boss because otherwise I'm going to be fired. Porque de lo contrario, seré despedida. So I need it, necesito hacerlo. To keep my job, yeah? Para mantener mi empleo. And here, we go. Express obligations or needs at the workplace. What are some of your obligations at your workplace? Okay, I need you to think about your obligations at your workplace, yeah? And while you are thinking about it, I'm going to take your second attendance because time flies as I told you, Ana Marlene, hello, Present Marlene. Present. Thank you, Vero, Ana Veronica. Present. Present. Brandon, hello, Brandon. Brandon, are you here? Brandon, Brandon. Brandon is absent. Brandon, you left us. Brandon. Hello. Carlos Miguel was absent today. Carmen, Guad Carmen Guadalupe. Carmen. Carmen absent today. Clelia. Hello, Clelia. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Clelia. Dani, yeah. thank you, Dani. David Emanuel. Present teacher. Hey. Edwin, hello, Edwin. Edwin, are you here thank with you. us? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Ivania, Miss Present Ivania. Teacher. Okay, great. Jenny's Caroline, hello, Jenny's Caroline. Present teacher. Jonathan, hello, Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. Okay, great. Jose Dimas. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Manuel. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Jose Mario, absent today. Juan Ezequiel. Hello, teacher, present. Thank you. Marlene Oneida. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Nilton. Present. Great. Uh, Serafin. Well, Serafin, Serafin, Serafin. Hello, bien. Hello, bien. Great. <laughs> William Francisco. William. 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 Present. Thank you. Filomena Luz. Present. Blanqui, Blanca Luz, thank you. Teacher. Alejandra Michelle. Present teacher. Mm, Beatriz absent, Noe absent. Okay, now that you have thought about your obligations, here we go. Okay, I need you to name at least two of the obligations that you have at work, okay? So volunteers, you say, I have to 
Carmen, where are you, Carmen? Se me fue la señal de internet. Ok. Now you're here. Ok. Ok. Tell me, class. One or two activities that you have to do, your obligations, ok, at work. In my case, I have to teach a class every day. What about you? Blanqui, tell me one of your obligations at work. No, I don't listen. <laughs> I have to. What do you have to do at work? Okay. Brainstorming, volunteers to say, okay, to share with the class. What do you have to do at work? I have to call quiet. How quiet. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Somebody else? I have to drive for my boss. Okay. Excellent. Jonathan, what do you have to do at work? Jonathan, what do you have to do at work? Your obligations at work, Jonathan? Okay, I'm going to ask then Carmen, tell to the class one of your obligations at work. I have two. I have to review uh, the documents. Okay, I have to check the documents. Excellent, Dimas. Dimas. I have to visit client every day. Okay, excellent, great. Uh, Jonathan, what do you have to do at work? Um. Right <laughs> code. Okay, very well. David Emanuel. I have to pay the bill every month. Okay, excellent. Danny, what do you have to do at work? I send report every day. Excellent, very well. So now let's see here what we have in your manual class. You have named some of your obligations at your workplace. Now listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. We have Jan and Anne. Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule, reschedule, reprogramar, okay? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. They were canceled, canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting, okay? Two volunteers to read this conversation. Hello, two volunteers. Okay, Alejandra Michelle, you're going to read Anne. I need a boy to read John. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, teacher. Okay, the volunteer is? John, teacher. Okay, Jonathan. The Edwin, Edwin. Ah, Edwin. Okay, great. And is there some something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to schedule. To meeting for tomorrow, they were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide, provide important information to some customer. That's so interesting. Okay, provide 
provide free schedule. Yeah, Alejandra and Dimas. Dimas, you want to read? Dimas, do you Hola. want to read or do you have a question? Uh, you want to read? Yeah. Okay, here, you're going to read John and let's see, uh, maybe um, Blanca, Blanca Luz. Blanqui. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, you're going to read Anne. Let's begin class. Okay. Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some client to you. Well, I have to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes. I have to provide important information to some customers. Custom. That song is interesting. 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 Okay, class. So right now you're going to go to the breakout rooms and you practice this short conversation, okay? And you switch roles. Notice that you have need to do, need to call, have to reschedule, have to provide. In these cases, you can use both need to and have to to express your obligations at work. Yeah? Okay, so uh, I don't know if you want to take a screenshot. Okay, Yo now. Vuelvo a repetir esa la palabra. I have to get to reschedule. I have to re, re schedule. Re, re schedule. Re schedule. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. And now. Let's go to the breakout rooms and let's practice. Okay, go to your groups. Join your groups, please, if you are so nice. Jonathan, join your group. Carmen, join your group. I sent you the invitations. Jonathan, go to group number four. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, Janice, entonces. Yo soy John and you am. Okay. Okay. Um, is there something you need to tomorrow? To uh, you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to. Inter. Intercambiamos ahora. Okay. okay. Um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call. Comparte la compañero porque no la tengo. Ahorita, ahorita. Está bien. Intentaré sacarte. We scheduled meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, okay, Ivania and Jonathan. Okay. Okay. Uh, and is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule uh, two meetings for tomorrow. Ah, será con Brandon, 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 ¿cómo? Brand, Brandon y Carmen que lean. Ah, excelente. 
Brandon. Va a perderle usted, Serafín, con Carmen para avanzar. Carmen. Tiempo es oro. Eso. Carmen. <risa> Carmen. Dale. Démosle nosotros, pues, Serafín. Dale. Ok. John. Ok, ahorita. Yo soy John. And you, Ants. Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Ok. Um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to do a rest schedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Yeah, okay, for tomorrow. Some clients. Well, I have to schedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, tax to back. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. Tax some interesting. Teacher, how do you say pronounce intensity? Interesting. Interesting. In Interesting. Ok, la fuerza va en la primera sílaba. Interesting. Interesting. That's correct. Very well. Interesting. Ok. Ok. Interesting. Ok, Interesting. continue with the practice. Continue practicing. Remember, practice makes perfect. Ok. Interesting. Provide. I have to reschedule, 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 reschedule. Okay. 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 Everybody I read. Todos leyeron ya. Sí. Yes. And you switch roles. Sí. Yes. Intercambiaron yes. roles. Wow! It's amazing class. Excellent. Very well done. Mm -hmm. Okay, repeat after me. Something. 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 Actually. 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 Reschedule. 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 They were canceled today. They were they canceled, were today. canceled today. today. That's too they bad. Were... That's too bad. That's I too have bad. to provide. I have to provide. Important have to provide information. Information. Important, important information. To some customers. To some customers. That, that customers. sounds interesting. That sounds yes. interesting. Excellent. That sounds interesting. Now let's get back. Okay. The main station room. Thank you for your participation. Let's wait for the other partners. There is one group still working in the speaking practice. Ivania is in her way coming back. Juan Ezequiel and Clelia are still practicing, I think. But they are coming. Okay. Ivania is coming soon. Okay, class, listen, remember that you need to continue working in the platform, yes? And uh, uh, today we studied the uses and identify the difference in most of the cases on how to use have to and need to. And you were practicing. Did you practice reading? Yes or no? Yes. 
Yes. Okay. You practice yes. speaking? Did you practice speaking? Yes. yes. Okay. Did you practice writing? Yes. 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 Did you practice listening to your partners and to the teacher? Yes. yes. Okay, class. You did a great job. Thank you so much for being here, but there is one more thing. Nelton, I need you to stay with me, please, okay? After class. So for the rest of the class, thank you very much. Sleep well. I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good dreams. Have a good night. Bye-bye, class. Only Nelton stays with me. Bye-bye, salud. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Take care. Bye bye. Good night. Have a good night, Juan. Filomena, bye bye. Bye bye, Filomena. Okay. Se quedó trabado ahí. <laughs> okay, here we go. So uh, I'm going to share okay, my screen and I'm going to ask you to read, Nilton. Okay. Would you please read uh, this paragraph? Nilton, hello. Oh, hello. Okay, read this paragraph for the teacher, please. Okay. Sí, mira mi pantalla, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay, great. Okay, hello. My name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resource manager. Brandon, sorry. Brandon, the class is over. Teacher, perdón, me acabo de volver. <laughs> Yeah, I know that you have problems with the internet. No problem, but thank you so much. Me sacó varias veces, dicho, porque está mal. Sí, eso estaba viendo y ahí le escribí que lo íbamos a esperar, pero ya estamos en la tutoría con Milton. So maybe tomorrow I'm going to stay with you. Okay, bye bye. Have a good night. Thank you for coming back. Bye, Brandon. Bye, Brandon. Okay. Okay. Every 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 day I take emails. For the company, I always answer the phone and the tell to potential employees. Generally, I attend meeting in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July twenty-first, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Busy. Bus busy. Okay, I'm going to read for you. And here we go. Okay. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an, an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer, answer, forget about W. Olvídese de la W, no se pronuncia, no existe en la pronunciación, answer. You don't say answer, no, you say okay. answer. I answer. always answer, excellent, very well. Okay, I okay. always answer the phone and talk to potential, potential employees, and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events, events, okay? Not events, events, events no, events. Event. Okay. Excellent. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Busy. Okay, now you read again, please. Okay, okay. Hello, uh, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. 
I am a human resource manager. Resources, human Res resources manager. Resources managers. Every day, at, I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential potential employees. Generally, okay, hold it. Potential employees. Employees. Generally, potential employees. Mm -hmm. Okay. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend conference on July 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy, busy. Busy, okay, busy. repeat after me. Repeat after okay. me. Hello, my name is John Wilson. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. I am human resources manager. Every day. Every day. I check emails. I check emails. For the company. For the company. I always answer the phone. I always answer the phone. And talk to potential employees. And talk to potential employees. 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 No, employees, no. Employees. Employees. Excellent. Okay. Generally. Generally. I attend meetings. I attend meetings. In the morning. In the morning. And not so often. And not so often. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In my company. In my company. We always have events. We always have events. We have to attend a conference. We have to attend a conference. On July 21st. On July 21st. And then. And then. We have to attend a meeting. We have to attend a meeting. About the conference. About the conference. On July 22nd. On July 22nd. I am always busy. I am always busy. Okay, now you read alone. Ahora lealo solito. Okay, teacher. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in a office. I am, I am a human resource, resource manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In the company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. And I am always busy. I am always busy. Very well. Okay, it was better. Oh, you say, oh my God. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to practice a little bit this conversation. I read it alone and you listen to the teacher, okay? And okay. Is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, 
I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Now you read John and I'm going to read Anne, okay? You begin. Okay. Uh, Anne, is there some kind of things, some, something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Okay. Okay, yes, actually, I need yes. to call some clients and you? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you? Well, I have to reschedule, 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 reschedule to meetings to for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That's so interesting. Inster okay, repeat after me. Okay. Uh, something. Something. Some clients. Some clients. Actually. Actually. Reschedule. 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 Two meetings. To meet him. They were canceled today. They were canceled today. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's too bad. I have to provide. I have to provide. Important information. Important information. To some customers. To some customers. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. 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 Teacher, una pregunta. Y, por ejemplo, yo siento que ahorita que estuvimos haciendo esto de, de uh -huh. leer, siento que sería como lo que más eh, me cuesta ahorita es por eso la, estamos la, la pronunciación. Correcto, Pero por eso esto, estamos practicando lectura. Esto, ¿habrá videos en YouTube de cómo mejorar o exclusivamente uh, you, con la lectura? No, you just, uh, yeah, there are some uh, videos en, en YouTube. And you uh, listen, okay? You listen and you okay. repeat and you read and you read. But in, you know, in internet, there are, okay, uh, you may type uh, reading text, practice. And then you're going to find a menu and then you look for a basic level. So you type it and then you are going to listen and you are going to read, okay? Pero recuerde que también acá en el manual hay algunas, algunas citas, por algunos ejemplo. Links. Sí, entonces tienen que accesar a esos links para que practiquen. De acuerdo, acá, de, por ejemplo, tiene dos, ¿sí? Dos links y tiene un uh, extended explanation. Acá es una explicación uh, más uh, profunda sobre el uso de imperativos to give instructions and commands, okay? And you have it in there from the Cambridge. And here you have actually uh, links to go to YouTube and listen to a conversation between two people giving commands, okay? Okay. Entonces, si usted accesa ahí, y por eso dije, ah, con Jonathan, we're going to practice reading, okay? But uh, the idea is when you are transferred to the breakout rooms, you need to practice. You don't have to practice only once. Si hay más tiempo, practiquen, because practice makes perfect. Lo que hoy siempre les digo, ¿verdad? Que la práctica en, nunca va a estar... Eh, de más, siempre de más. se necesita practicar, 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 ¿ok? Para ir ¿Sí? con el tema de entonación y, y eso, y, de lenguaje. Yes, and you feel confident. Y se siente seguro de lo que va a decir, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, sí, sí. Ok, okay. muy bien. Ahora le pregunto, eh, ¿hay alguna duda sobre el uso de have to y need to para expresar obligaciones en el trabajo? No, eso no. Eso no sí le quedó claro. Sí? Sí, sí. Ah, okay, great. So, thank you so very much for giving me your time and okay. we are going to continue practicing tomorrow, okay? Thank okay. you so much. Have a good night. Sleep well. Good night, See teacher. You See you bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Take care. Blessings. Bye-bye.